Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and we have a special guest here. This is... Keenan. <laughs> and how old are you? 20... I'm 30. <gasps> oh my gosh, Oh yeah. my gosh, I had a birthday Happy recently. Happy birthday. So. <laughs> and what's your favorite color? Um, sunset orange. Nice, okay. You. <laughs> well, you will notice that I have him on and it's because we yes. are doing this beautiful project. Oh. Oh. So exciting it's and top of the morning to you. <laughs> Absolutely, you may hear him speak <laughs> with an accent, and he's wearing a hat because I thought it'd be perfect. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up, yes, and we wanted to draw a leprechaun hat. Perfect. So that's what we're doing today. I'm so excited. Okay, so the supplies I want you to get out are grab a pencil because you are going to be drawing this beautiful hat on your own. Then get any crayons that you'd like. I'm going to have a green, black, and a yellow. But you can grab any colors you have. I also have a green, black, and yellow. <laughs> the same colors. Then we will be painting this, as you see. So grab your watercolors. I have red, yellow, and a blue. And you're going to see we don't have green, and we're going to mm. make green. Okay. So we're going to do some magic tricks today. Perfect. And magic. then, as always, have a cup of water, a brush, <laughs> and a paper towel. Check. Okay, so those are the supplies. Oh, and your paper that we will be painting on. Now, before we get started, I remembered. Wow, I we're, forgot. We're gonna do our motto. See, it's easy to forget. When it's we... easy to forget. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do our motto, which is what we say together. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. <laughs> Let's do this. Boom! Boom! Cool. Okay, now we are ready to paint with you. So, the first step is that you are going to grab a pencil. Check. Check. Okay, so we are going to draw this leprechaun hat together. Now, let's do a front facing view to see Keenan's hat. And what I want to show you is that this is a, we're just gonna pretend this is a leprechaun hat. It's green. This is a southern leprechaun <laughs> hat. He's a very rare sided one. But you'll notice that we are going to draw the similar shape. So can you see how this is a rectangle? Then we are going to draw this part of the hat, which is more circular. So we're gonna break it down into these small steps so that you can do it on your own. So the first step is drawing the rectangle part. I'm sitting on a bucket. Thanks. So that we could, you could see this. Yes. Yeah. I had to sit on a bucket. <laughs> Otherwise he's too tall. Okay, so we are going to draw a large rectangle in the center for that part of the hat. So grab your pencil and I want you to draw a rectangle. It can be any size. It can be really skinny. It could be really wide. You get to decide. Nice. Mine's kind of curved, lopsided. Mine's leaning. That's great. <laughs> Ours are both leaning. So we have our rectangle. Now what I want you to do is on leprechaun hats, Keenan doesn't have this, but typically you'll see if you see some of them is they have this band. So it's this black band like this, and then oh. there's a buckle. So we're going to draw the black band part okay. by drawing a line above this bottom one. I didn't draw my bottom line. Oh, yeah, you need a bottom line. My bad, my bad. You're good. Wait, this seems draw. short. It's okay. Okay. We're here to just draw. Just Got drawing it. lines, nice. Okay, so draw one above, so you can decide how thick is your band. Do you want it really thick? Do you okay. want it really skinny? Okay. So you're gonna decide how thick, and you're gonna draw a line, a horizontal line across. Wonderful. Now, we are going to draw the brim of his hat. So, it's kind of a curve, so if we kind of tilt a little bit forward. <laughs> Can you see how it's a curve? That's what we're going to draw right here. So, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Being a turtle. <laughs> Is, <laughs> um, so to help break it down, if you want to draw this big loop, you can, but I have a trick for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to start a little bit above the bottom of your square and you're going to draw a C. Oh. There you go. Wait, now I want mine to be wider out. Okay. That's why we're doing pencils. Then you can do that. Pencils erase. Fun <laughs> fact. 
Yes, yeah, so you can decide how wide it's this part that we're drawing. So his, he's gonna make his a little bit wider. Then, so you have your C. Now you're gonna continue this line because we're drawing the brim, the front, or front part, and you're gonna draw a line across. Nice. Then you're gonna draw and you can either, you decide what's easier. Is it easier to start here and do a backward C or is it easier to start here and go up? Which way do you go? I, it's easier for me to start here. And meet to where you wanna go? Mm -hmm, and then connect them. And if I'm off, that's okay. I don't know, it's easier for me to draw down than go up, but everyone's a little bit different. Nice, look Got how it. good that looks. Nice hat. <laughs> Great, okay. So we have our, the front of our hat. Now we are going to add a buckle to our hat. Okay. So the buckle is a square. And when you have your buckle, can you see how it goes over the band? Mm -hmm. So when you draw your square, I want you to draw your square in the middle of your band. So we're using our imagination and this is our band. So when you're doing this, your square is gonna go above and below your two lines. There you go. And then you're going to draw your square. So draw a line. So squares have four sides. Yep. And then connect it. Boom. Okay. Okay. Now, can you see how we have the outside of our buckle? We need to draw the inside. Okay. So we're gonna draw another square, just a little bit smaller. And what might help is I'm gonna use these. I already have my two lines. Oh. So what if we just draw two horizontal lines, or two vertical lines. Vertical lines are when they're going up and down. Boom. Boom. Then, here's the cool thing. Now we're going to erase these lines, because can you see how on our buckle, which lines? It's a solid line. Okay. So we're going to erase these lines right here so that our buckle looks solid. Okay. So you can erase these four little small lines like that. How did you erase so fast? <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Now, here is another fun part that you kind of get to be creative. Do you see your hat? So on this hat, can you see how my corners are a little curved? Yes. You are the designer of your painting. And so mm. do you want your corners to be curved? Do you want them to be more pointed? Mm. Do you, how your hat, it kind of has, this is kind of a cowboy hat, kind of has a dip in the middle. So you don't, do you want to draw that? This is where I want you to take the time to be creative. So I think I'm gonna, let's see. I'm just gonna curve mine a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of draw them a oh. little bit wider and kind of erase my lines. But you get to do what makes you happy. Okay. Fun. Maybe I'll draw him a little bit. Make my little lighter. That's gonna be a crazy looking hat. It's gonna have almost like ears. Ooh. Hello. Taking over the leprechaun world <laughs> with ears. <laughs> ears, yes. So we made, we made ours just a little bit curved. Again, you can have yours more pointed. Okay. Give it some personality. Yeah. It has bed head. Boom. <laughs> okay. Now we are done with our pencil. So we are going to now use our crayons and you're going to outline your hat. So St. Patrick's Day is typically green. Mm -hmm. So yes. I'm gonna use my green crayon. I think it's March 17th. Yes. Nailed it, first try. <laughs> and I am going, I want you to outline with your crayon first. So we're just gonna kinda draw. I got excited, I grabbed my brush immediately. We're gonna paint, we will paint for sure. Okay. So I'm just gonna outline and draw on top of my pencil line. And I'm going to do that. 
I'm gonna make my buckle black, so I'm gonna leave that there. But the brim of my hat is green. Brim green. So we're tracing. Yeah, just coloring it in. This is your thing. Nailing it. <laughs> okay, then my buckle is yellow, so I'm gonna use my yellow crayon and outline my square. I almost started to fill it in completely. You can do that if you want. Oh. If you want to color it. However it makes you happy. Boom. Then I'm going to outline my... Your line is much more thicker than mine. I think I press really you hard. You must press really hard. <laughs> oh. Great. Then we're going to use the black and outline our band. So again, we're just tracing our line. Now, if you don't have crayons, you don't have to go to this step. You can skip through and then join us for the painting part. Okay, now, every hat is unique. True. So, just like you and you. And you. So, I want you to decorate and use your imagination on how to how to add more personality to your hat. Okay. So, the cool thing is when you're looking at this, can you see how it has these little stars kind yes. of? That's with crayon. And oh. the 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 four leaf clover is also with crayon. So, that's why I like to use crayon sometimes with my watercolors. So, I want you to decorate yours. Okay. Do you want it to have lines? Do you want it to have dots? Do you want it to have Four leaf clovers. Do we can, do the crayons now? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do the crayons first. Oh, this is exciting. So, if you want to draw four leaf crayon, four leaf crayon. Four leaf crayon clover. Four, four, yes, four leaf crayon clover. I want to teach you how to do that. Okay. There's so many different ways to do it, but here's a cool way to do it is draw a heart. So pick anywhere on your hat and draw a heart. A heart is where you start in the middle and you draw a curve, and you draw a curve the other way. Wonderful. Now, flip it over. And where you have your point, I want you to draw another, another heart that connects there. Oh. Boom. Nice. Now, flip it on its side. And in the spot, any either side, because we're going to do both of them. So you're going to draw another heart and have it fill in that spot and have it connect again. Nice. Then flip it one more time in that space and then draw one more heart for yourself. And you've got a four leaf clover. Oh my goodness. Look at that. If you want it to have the stem part, you can just draw a line coming from any of yours. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. That was awesome. Okay, yeah, that's it. how you draw a four leaf clover. Then, if you want to draw, maybe if you want to draw, you can keep continuing if you want to draw more. I'm going to show them how to draw a star if you want to draw a star. Okay. There are so many different ways to draw stars. One of them, if you look at this one, is I like to draw a, line, a horizontal and a vertical line. And then, similar to kind of what we did with our four leaf clover, is in those empty spots, I'm going to draw an X above it. So you can draw lines. Oh, we're drawing more four-leaf clovers. I'm gonna do four four-leaf clovers that are a four-leaf clover. Oh, that's very creative. Thank you. That is amazing. Okay, so that's how you can draw a star, or if you wanna to continue to draw more four-leaf clovers, I really like Keenan's idea. And this is how you are an artist. We are all creative, and we see things differently. Yeah. We see the world so uniquely, so I love that. So I think I'm gonna draw that. Or I'm if you want to draw... I'm just spinning my paper. <laughs> do it. If you want to draw little dots, you can do that. So we're just going to kind of color together and decorate our hat so it's unique. Hmm. I think I want to draw... I like watching my four-leaf clovers change. Every time I do one, the hearts change shape and they get maybe a little better shape. Like this one, I like this shape a lot more than I like this heart's shape. I'm just getting, I'm learning. That one has its own personality. Though. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Look, this one's super tall. Mm-hmm. 
Those are all really great. Okay, I'm going to draw a really small one, a mini one. So we're going to draw. Oh man, this is great. Any minute part. I'm going to draw some coming on the corner. Oh, these, are these are so fun. Okay, then you did a star? Yeah. You don't have to. I'm going to try a star. Okay. Do it. So you're going to draw a line, a vertical line, and a horizontal line, and then an X. <laughs> Boom. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> good measure. Thank you. Okay. When you are done with your decorating of your hat, we are going to move to our watercolors. Okay. So, make sure you have your cup. Oh, I like your corners. Your Thank you. Oh, goodness. I thought that they'd be popping out. Yeah. What a good idea. <laughs> okay. So you have your, now we're ready for Now we're ready brush. for the brush. Okay, first step is that we are going to, I'm gonna start with our yellow. So grab out your watercolors and on any palette that you have, I want you to squeeze out some yellow. So we got our yellow. When you were painting this, you were going to dip in your water first, swish it around, and then you're going to pick up the yellow. Do we take the water off? Yes, you can dip it, you can hit it off to the side a little bit. And then you are going to paint your buckle. So you're going to paint the inside of your buckle. So we're going to leave this part blank. So you're just painting the outside of it. Because the inside is actually black, as you can see on here. Oh. Wonderful. Okay. Now we are going to make some magic. I love magic. And make so do leprechauns. And make Top green. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> so we do not have green, but we can make green. Hmm. Now I want to show you something where we're actually going to make several different colors of green. Okay. Because there's. Oh. That's like a. A medium green. Medium green. There's a light green, or you can make a dark green. So dark we're going to make yes. So we're gonna make so many different colors. So we already have our yellow. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do, cause blue and yellow make green. Yes. So I'm going to add, let's see. Let's say you do one drop here, two drops here and three drops here, okay. about. It doesn't need to be exact. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple drops of blue, the same amount. And let's see what happens when you mix that. Yeah, mix those together. Ooh. So that should be. That's a dark green. Ooh, they're all kind of similar. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna, that's a dark green? Yeah. Let me give you some more blue. This is a dark Now mix green? those together, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a teal. That is beautiful. That's a really pretty green blue. Is this more blue or more green? That's. What do you think? Think more green. I think that's a great like color it. for us. I like it. So do you see how we have, there's a really light green. This is like a medium green. And then we have a really dark green. So I want you to mix on your palette a few different greens. And then we're gonna paint. Okay. So on this part, I want you to paint it all green. So leave this part black. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up any color that you want and I want you to have fun. So when you're painting this, you're gonna paint, but here's the cool thing is that because you have so many different greens, so I started with my light green, what if I pick my medium green? And I just kind of mix it in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we're gonna kind of mix different colors. Maybe you grab some of the dark green and you kind of mix it in too. So you will see how when you're looking at this hat in this example is it's not all one solid color. This is the beautiful thing about watercolors is that you can make it any color. 
You can mix the colors. Ooh, you can make it a lighter color by just adding water. Yes, so if you want a really light green, like Keenan was saying, which I love, is that you're just gonna use water. I'm gonna add water drops to my painting. Check this out. Okay, show us how to do it. Okay, I was gonna do, well see here, I've got some water drops mixed in there a little bit. Oh wait here, let me get over on this side of the camera. But let me get some, let me get some light green and then shh, throw that in there. Look at all these rainbow, basically, like rainbows of greens. A green rainbow? Oh, yours is like striped, that's cool. Stripe it. It's gonna accidentally be striped because I'm just going for it. This one's a little too light to do the water stuff. Oh dear. You want more green? I need dark green, please. Okay, I'll make dark more. Dark green, stat. Dark green is more blue than yellow. Where's my blue? That means. Oh, oh! Kind of, I want whoa, that color. Oh, I want that color too. Oh, I'm That's gonna add. Looks really cool though. So Keen's gonna show you to do water drops. I'm gonna show you how you can do color drops. So I just added color, a different color. Beautiful. Made some explosions. Oh wow! That is dark. That is very. Dark. <laughs> it's spotted. Okay. This is the water drop. Okay, method. show you us. Just go. Bloop. So we got some water. Bloop. Bloop. And that's how you do the water droplets. It's just water. And it explodes. Explosions. So we're just painting our hat with many different colors. And it's cool because you can kind of see my crayon patterns start to kind of come through. The hat of many colors. It's a tie-dye hat. Tie-dye hat. Oh, my explosion. Look at your explosions. Oh my goodness. I love these explosions. Okay, then we are going to skip over this part because this part is black. And we're going to paint the bottom, or actually it's the top of this hat. So you're gonna also paint that green. So I think I'm gonna make us a little bit more green. So again, green is yellow and blue. But you can decide, do you want more blue? That will make it a darker green. Or more yellow, and that will make it a lighter green. Boom. I like how yours is striped. Thank you. I did it on accident. Well, it looks wonderful. I'm very excited about it. Wait, why are we skipping the black? So, because we have our green already on our palette. So let's just draw oh, that paint it all right now. That makes sense, okay. So we're gonna keep going. Ooh, I think the brim should be a solid color. Okay, go I'm for it. I'm gonna do water first. Okay, show us. Okay, we do water first. Okay. And then we spread it across the, the whole. area that we want to paint next with okay. a color that we choose. And you gotta work fast. You've got to work fast. If you want if you want this technique to work, you've got to work mighty quickly. <laughs> Very swiftly. That, that was wrong, it was the wrong accent. Okay, here we go. I can't decide, I have to choose this one. I'm gonna do this one. And then you get a Look at it travel. Oh my goodness, this is sweet. So this technique is, we're calling it wet on wet, because it started with wet, which was the water, and it kind of exploded. It does its own thing. Painted. Yeah. It follows the rules of something, and it does it a good job. This has its own mind. It has its own plan. Oh, that looks so cool. The path of least resistance, and it just <laughs> spreads out. Boom. It's lovely. I kind of added several different colors. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good job on yours. Thank you. Now, the last, or I guess the second to last step is we're gonna make black. Okay. So we're gonna do more oh. magic tricks. Oh, we're making it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's exciting. So you're going to use the three colors that you have, which are, and maybe I'll just, we'll, we'll use what we have on our palette. Okay. So we have green, so we use blue and yellow to make green. Mm -hmm. And I have magenta, or if you have a red. Now, can you mix those together? Yes. Let's see what we get. So when you mix those, it kind of makes 
Oh, like a brownish? That's a pretty brown. Oh, that is. You can make yours brown. Let's see if I add more blue. So we're going to kind of just mix the colors Ooh. that we have. Yeah, it's a little bit more black, right? Yeah. Oh, I kind of, it has like a little tint to it. It does have a tint. A tint meaning like a little bit of a, a greenish black. Yeah, it's like another color inside another color. Yes, let's do that. So you like are the tint going of a window. to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is you're going to um, pick up the black and you're going to paint the three spots black. Oh, all three. So we're painting our band. So you're going to paint it black. So that's the left part of the band. Sometimes I go over the lines and that's okay. Oh yeah, sometimes it, mine does that too. It is definitely okay. Actually, all the time I go over the lines. And I don't mean to because it, it kind of drives me crazy. It's okay. When I go over my own lines. It does? Yeah, I don't know why. I try so hard not to, but it always happens. But the cool thing about art is that there's no right or wrong with that. That's true. Like that has its own personality which is so fun. You're right. So, we're here to be kind to ourselves. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and paint together. Beautiful. Yours is much darker than mine. We painted a hat together. Yes, we did. Now, the, when you're looking at this, you'll see that we added a background to ours. So you can do that as well if you'd like. So. If you want, you can just use water, or what I did is, ha see how it has these kind of spirals? Yeah. Is I did the same technique that we did with our hat, and I used a crayon first. Okay. And so you can do that as well if you'd like. And you can color it anything. I just drew kind of these spirals that were coming out from my hat, because it felt like magical. I have an idea. Tell me your idea. I don't know if it'll work. Okay. But what if you do, be a lot of green. Okay, what if you did a yellow, Four leaf clover behind the hat. Oh! Just like a couple. Okay. Okay. Do it. So, like a one big one? Yeah. Nice. Mm. Now that'll work. That'll work. Make it work. That'll work. I'll get it to work. I think I like your idea though of four leaf clover. Okay. I'm gonna run off that. You keep going. I think I might do one green one coming off of the side of my hat. Seems to be transforming into something completely different. It's a loaf of bread <laughs> behind the hat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boom. That's a three leaf clover. We need <laughs> the fourth one to make it lucky. <laughs> yes. All right. Boom, there you go. Wait. Wait, what? I made several things in one thing. And I love it. This is great. <laughs> Boom. And then we paint the background? Yes. See, you can do it any color. I just decided to do it a light yellow. So, I'm just gonna use yellow. And then, here's the cool thing about watercolors, is you can paint one color, and then you can add more water to it. So you can make it a really light color. Oh, can, are you gonna do the wet on wet? Mm-hmm. Do it. I might do a mixture of colors. I might do like a magenta and a yellow. Oh. Do you want some magenta? Yes, please. Thank you. Make you. it orange, too. Yeah, and they'll blend together. Mm. So if you want to make orange, orange is red or magenta and yellow. Oh, which I really like that idea. I think I'm going to add some. Because then the paint kind of does its own thing. Ooh. I don't have to paint the whole background. As long as I get the whole background wet, It'll just travel. It will. <laughs> it's a road tra it's a well traveled paint. Ooh, good idea to thank you for the idea to add some orange. Or some different color. 
Oh, oh that was bright. Oh, I like this orange. Oh, you got some straight magenta. I did. Oh, oh, I mixed mine. Oh, nice. Fun. So we're just kind of adding water, adding color. Swiftly. So we're just loosely painting our background, giving it some color. Boom. Ooh. Kind of creates some movement too. Yeah. And I'm not making it perfect. Nope. I'm just throwing it down. <laughs> oh, feels very magical. Ooh, look at all that color. Bring some of that down here. Got some green. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Boom! <gasps> I love the color. Nice. Oh, and some water drops? Yes. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Good job. Wow. This was so much fun. Thank you. This was a I agree. great project. And now you just need to let it dry. And maybe you go and you let it dry and then come back and see what happens. Mm. All the water explosions are going to do its own thing. It's going to just keep growing. Yeah. Sometimes. It'll be so cool. Now, we want to see what you made. Yep, I want to see it. This is the fun part, is that you get to be proud and share what you made. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Ask a parent to, or a grown up to take a picture of you. You can hold yours up. Is it okay if you hold yours up? Just a little bit? Mm-hmm, mine's curling. It might be curling a little bit. So you can smile and ask them to take a picture of you and share it with us. And thank you for being on this with me. Thanks Kenan. for inviting me. And always remember that you are brave. You are kind to yourself. We saw we kind of needed a, a reminder of that today. That's true. And you are so creative. So we'll see you next time. Bye.